So my name is Len Friesen. And I'm Mary Friesen. And we're uh, really excited to lead Tour Imagination's tour in 2020, spring of 2020, to Russia. It's called the two capitals, Moscow and St. Petersburg. Of course, Moscow is the only real capital now, but they've always been known as the two capitals, at least for the last 300 years. Both were capitals at one point, and uh, that's part of the storytelling that we'll do, is to try to get to the heart of these cities. So why travel with us? Um, Len's a Russian historian, I think that's a big one. And also, um, I have some ownership here because we lived there several times, and that was our home um, in 87, 88 with our two children. Came home and had three. Um, maybe I shouldn't say that. <laughs> conceived of Russia, or former Soviet Union, and then we lived there again in uh, 07, 08, Len and I did on our own, and at different locations. So we have a real feel for um, St. Petersburg and, and Moscow, of course, but. And so what people are often interested in our experience with tour imagination is not just one museum after another, but about daily life. What was life like? And those aren't questions we need to look up. We don't need to look that up because that was our daily life. We weren't all theaters. In fact, we had trouble going to them because we had small kids. If you've had small kids, you know about that. But we do know what children's polyclinics looked like and what, um, what nursery and kindergarten yeah. looked like. We shopped with Russians for our food. In Gorbachev's time, we knew what it was like to be in many, many lineups or where there was no food. That was part of our experience. So we can talk about that and, and give you a contrast to what you'll see currently, it, huge changes and capitalism, uh, wealth, um, it's just so different than when we lived there and the opening of buildings that were museums and are now orthodox churches um, because that's a allowed now in, in this current government. In both cases, every evening we're going to be doing evening walkabouts, one of the real thrills uh, we have is having people come with us who on day one and two think that Russia is not safe, you're being watched all the time, we still view Russia as the enemy, we think that's a dreadful characterization. And by days four, five, and six, people having gone with us suddenly realize that uh, these are cities that are really as safe as any city in North America to wander about. And we give people that confidence or they can travel, walk with us, and we're constantly exploring in places where there are no tourist buses and there are no tourist groups. Uh, and so that, we should talk about the cemetery, maybe your encounter, our last group. So the last group, there. it was quite moving. We went to a cemetery no one goes to. It's to 500,000 who died during uh, the siege of Leningrad, St. Petersburg in World War II. Putin has a, a brother who's buried there. And no tourists ever go there anymore, so we go there all the time. And there was a young Russian father taking his son. He was on his own pilgrimage. He lived in Siberia, a Siberian town. He was quite moved that we would go. And uh, we would come to a place of such, that marked such suffering for Russia and thanked us for coming and asked why would we view Russia as an enemy? And I think when you go on tours like this, have those conversations, you break down that barrier. But you had that exchange, that sort of unique experience just by wandering into the Kazan Cathedral. So Kazan Cathedral is on Nevsky Prospect, the main street of the city. And it was a museum of atheism when we lived there in 87, 88. But it's now Kazan Cathedral. It's an Orthodox church. And I just happened upon, walked in there one morning. It, it doesn't have pews. And I, I came upon a wedding. And so, I mean, I was able to stay and observe it and um, see the, the sacraments and the ceremony as um, I wasn't a tourist, as a bystander, and it was very moving. And the last group we uh, took, we also went into that cathedral and there was a very important service going on, and so people have that option to experience that. You'll be riding with us not only on tourist buses, which we think of as often removing people, but actually on city buses. And we'll be riding on the metro uh, with, uh, with Russians. And, um, and those are part of the experiences that you'll be having. You'll be having cafe, you'll be sitting in a cafe uh, with Russians. And so part of that is that I, we, think, uh, we think daily life is something people want to get a feel for. And we think it's especially important in Russia because we have so many negative stereotypes about Russia. 
Um, and, um, and it's when those start to break down that you start to build the kind of bridges. That's what we think Tour Imagination does so very well. And oh, yeah. Well, I was just going to say, the parks, the, the, it's a spring tour, so the parks um, should be getting to butt the, the plants, the trees, so it'll be a beautiful time to be there. And white nights. True, uh, white nights, so long days, and um, you can be out late because of that evening light in uh, especially St. Petersburg there's just nothing quite like it the city was built for white nights come join us it'll be an exciting tour